What's up everybody? Matt Taylor back. It's day two of summer, day 11 of my vlogs, and it's another gorgeous day out here. Nice and warm, a little cloudy, but not too bad. I hung out with Jess for a while after I signed off last night, and now I'm ready for another day of work. First things first, I want to get out and scout my soybeans, see how the weeds are coming in that field, if I'm going to need to spray them, and then uh, from there I'll formulate a game plan for the day. So I want to make sure I'm scouting my crops regularly, make sure I know how they're coming along, what they're looking like, if there's any weeds in there we need to be worried about. So we'll just pull off here and we'll take a little walk. So as you can see, there's some weeds in the field here. Not too many yet, but it's still pretty early. So you know what? I think I'm gonna get a good head start on these weeds, cut them off and spray them down. We can take care of this before it becomes a real issue and affects the yield and may as well make use of that new sprayer I just bought yesterday. So gotta say, I'm maybe looking for a bit of an excuse, but you know what? I think it's gonna be a good idea to get out there spray some roundup make sure that these weeds are gone and I don't have to worry about it again this season so let's get back to the house and I will have to go and fill out my sprayer and get back to the field here beautiful new sprayer. Gotta say, I cannot wait to put this thing to work. Let's go get it filled up at the PV Mart and I'll check in with you in a little bit. Alrighty, so I'm down at the PV Mart, ready to fill this thing up with herbicide so I can get out there and spray the soybeans. Thankfully, PV Mart's got this handy tank here. I can fill up and then pay inside and get on my way. So, super simple. I'm going to get that done and head on down to my field to spray the soybeans. Looks like I just need to get a little closer. All right. So I am all set and I'm gonna head on down. This thing holds about 1,300 gallons, so hopefully that should be more than enough to get that soybean field done. Well, let's go see. get this thing unfolded and see what it can do. It's got quite the span on it. That is beautiful. And we're off and running. This thing, so far so good. We're still early days, but I love how this is looking. 
already. So I've got the headlands done. I'm going to go ahead, whip through the rest of this field. This right here just motors. It gets it done so fast. It's got the width and it's got the speed. I'm loving this. So I'm just going to finish off this field and head back home with this thing. And then we'll see what we'll get up to after that. I'll pick up with you again when I get home. So I've got this thing back home, got that field all sprayed with herbicide, so I am all set for the soybeans. They will need no other attention except for harvesting when it comes time. Until then, we'll park this. Now I may need this thing again later for my oats. But for now, I think I'll leave it here. I'll go scout the oats maybe later today or maybe another day and see if they need anything. Last time I checked, there weren't too many weeds out there, so I'm not too concerned about them at this moment. I'm going to head back to the house, come up with some sort of game plan for what I'm going to work on next, and I will catch back up with you once I've figured that out. Well, look at what the cat dragged in. Now, I know I said I was going to formulate a game plan, but I had an idea and I just went with it. I need a support trailer. Now that I've got that sprayer, I thought, you know what, I really want to keep going with expanding this custom work side of my business. I don't have too many fields, so I really need to focus on that a little bit. So, you know, I called up Jess and I put it in order for one of these field support trailers from PJ. And Jess offered to deliver it, so here she is. And let's just wait a minute here and take a look at this sweet ride that Jess has. This is her truck. This isn't the dealership's, this is hers. What a beauty. Now, I, I like my Dodge, don't get me wrong, but uh, whew, this thing is a piece of work. Gotta say, nice choice on that one, Jess. Beautiful truck. Anyway, now that I'm done drooling over that, I'm gonna let Jess go and uh, park this in my shed and get back to her work. And I'm gonna have to get this thing filled up. May as well fill it up, fill up the sprayer, and see where we are after that. So I'll pick it back up with you in just a little bit, maybe a couple hours after I get those things filled up at PB Mart. And then uh, we'll see what work needs to be done after that. Alrighty, so I've got my sprayer filled up with herbicide once again. 
get this thing parked back in the shed. And you know what? There actually aren't a whole lot of people offering contracts right now. Not, not anybody looking for me to spray herbicide on their fields just yet. I think it's still a little early in the summer for that, so I'm going to hold off on filling up my field support trailer with herbicide just yet. I think what I'll do... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the rest of the afternoon off. You know, it's been a long few days. I've been putting in a lot of work on my own fields and everyone else's. Jess offered to take me out for a spin in her truck, and you saw that thing. I cannot pass up an opportunity like that. So she's going to come pick me up in a little while. I'm going to freshen up, get ready for that, and just, you know, take it easy for a night. I'm sure there's going to be a ton to do tomorrow, so... I'll pick back up with you then. As always, thank you so much for watching. Matt Taylor, out.